Hi, my name is Theo and today I'm going to show you how we plan the automation of our irrigation system. We have a total of 13 valves installed in three valve boxes. These need to be controlled. In the upper left toolbox under automation we find three different type of controllers. Controllers with fixed zone numbers, standalone controllers and modular controllers. Fixed zone numbers controllers are controllers where the number of connections cannot be changed. Standalone controllers are 9 volt controllers and in modular controllers the number of stations can be changed by using expansion modules. In our case we choose a modular controller and place it here at the front of our house corner. What controller from which manufacturer we choose will be done later in the spec sheets. In addition to the controller we can add various sensors. There are rain, soil and moisture sensors, frost, wind and solar sensors, flow sensors or even whole weather stations. We choose a rain sensor which we place on the house. And in addition to that we add a wind sensor. So the system shuts down when it's windy. These products must be connected to the control unit. To do this we select automation and wiring from the toolbox. We separate between the wire between the valves and the control unit. And the wire between the sensors and the control unit. The wiring is done in the same way as laying pipes or drip lines. If we mark the valve box, we can see in the status bar that the valve box is connected to the water source and wired to the controller. If we mark the controller we see which variant we have chosen and how many zones are wired. And that's it! Now you know how to plan the automation in your irrigation system with Arisketch.